Hi everyone, thanks for joining us. Governor Tim Walz is proposing a $49 billion budget that includes a 20 cent hike in the state's gasoline tax, along with significant increases in spending on education and health care while granting tax relief for many Minnesotans. His proposal announced today includes a $523 million increase in state funding for local school districts, more aid to cities and counties, subsidies to cut premiums on the state health insurance exchange by 20 percent, and $70 million to ensure that all households in rural Minnesota have high-speed internet access. The gas tax increase for roads and bridge improvements would free up general fund revenues that would then be redirected to education. As I traveled mile after mile and enjoyed countless conversations across the state, it became abundantly clear to me that there's three top priorities for the people of Minnesota education, health care, and community prosperity. Minnesotans want to bring down the cost of health care, provide a quality education to their children and grandchildren, and ensure that communities across this state are prospering. The budget that I'm unveiling today will make significant strides in achieving these priorities. I've often said that a budget is far more than a fiscal document. It's a moral document. This budget reflects the morals and values of the people of Minnesota. This is the budget that Minnesotans voted for in historic numbers in November. Republican legislative leaders say their caucuses won't accept the tax increases that the governor has proposed, given the state's projected budget surplus. House Minority Leader Kurt Dowd says that with a $1.5 billion surplus, it's absurd to propose raising taxes by more than $3 billion. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.